Hello friends, welcome back to another excellent review. Hey Brandy. Hey Jackie. Today we have something that we have never tried before. Have you ever tried this? No. In any I, form? Not that I know of. Maybe a candy, but never in a drink. I have not either. This is Kansas City Authentic. I have a question here. Sass, I always say sarsaparilla. Is that what you say, sarsaparilla? Yeah. If you look at the spelling, it's S-A-R-S. -S. Is it sarsaparilla? Sarsaparilla. Is the R silent? Maybe we'll have to Google that. We may never know. But anyway, Sarsparilla. Kansas City Authentic sar Sarsparilla. Now, their little uh, slogan on here says, no matter which end of the horse you're working with, there's nothing like an ice cold Kansas City Sarsparilla to quench your thirst. And this little uh, minor 49er guy says, wait for me, it's Sarsparilla time. That's my favorite part of the whole bottle. It's caffeine free. A uh, whole bottle, which is 32 ounces, has 410 calories. Full sugar. It does have the uh, high fructose corn syrup. Are also you... in a plastic bottle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't like that. Are you ready for the pronunciation? Yes. Sarsaparilla. So we say, it's, we say it right. Yeah, so it the is. The R is silent. It is sarsaparilla, but the R is silent. That's kind of odd. And also today, making us another appearance, the all-time favorite goblet of rock. You know it. You love it. You can't live without it. Hello. I love you, little goblet of rock. All right, let's crack this open for all you ASMR people out there. Get ready to vibrate. That was a little not that great. Underwhelming? Yeah. Mmm. Has a root beer esque scent. Oh. Smells very nice, yeah. That smells like a lovely root beer. Are we gonna are we gonna sip it out the bottle first? Oh, we're sipping out the bottle. All right. Not thinking about tomorrow. Save some for the fish. Whoa. Damn white. Okay, go ahead. All right. Okay. Okay. You're not impressed? Excuse me. Excuse me. I it's, it's very root beer, -y, right? Is yes. it supposed to be root beer? I think so. Okay. It it's good. It's a good. It's a good root beer, sars, sarsaparilla. Mm -hmm. um, not one of my all-time favorite root beers. I might go on record as saying this is in my top five. It's no frosty. I'll tell you that much. Frosty root beer, highly recommended. Ten on Jack's root beer scale, or nine and a half. I don't remember. Kansas City. That's really nice. Okay. Super That's carbonated. We'll see what the Goblet of Rock has to say about that. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. All right. That was one sexy pour right there. That was a sexy I, I pour. I think you all would have to agree with that. Is sarsaparilla and root beer the same thing? According to Bundaberg Brute Drinks, both beverages are named after their distinct differences in ingredients when they were first made. Sarsaparilla was made from the sarsaparilla vine, while root beer, roots of the sassafras tree. These days, root beer recipes do not include sassafras as the plant has been found to cause serious health issues. Oh, wow. Now, it does have a little different finish than root beer. Yes. So I think you, yes. if you had a, a little side-by-side -side thing of root beer going, you could tell... The difference. The, the finish, it's a different flavor. This, I think, is smoother. It doesn't have that little bit of a bite to it. Yeah, try from the Goblet So, rock. I wonder what they make root beer with now that they're not using, uh, what did it say causes? The sarsaparilla. Or... The sassafras plant. It's just probably just artificial flavors. More than likely. Yeah. So, basically chemicals. Right. The Goblet of Rock doesn't even ruin it. No, it never does. Wow. Try it. I, I did already. Oh, did you? I did. <laughs> Where was I? I don't know. Off in space land somewhere. I guess. Shirley wasn't making out with my goblet of rock, I can tell That's you right. that. Please don't call me Shirley. All right, moving on. We got fight night. Fight night at the palace back here? Malice at the palace? Do you guys need to go outside and handle this business? Okay. All right, you ready to give us a rating? Hold on. Yeah, so it's good. 
It's got a nice carbonation, nice flavor. What? Did I interrupt you? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, I was burping. I was going to have a good one, but you... Oh, I didn't know you were going to be grotesque on camera. I totally said, hold, wait. Oh. I'm or sorry. hold on, something. Right. A little bit finished, different finish than root beer. Yeah. And, uh, but it's still it's still good. I like it. I would Very buy, good. I would buy it again. Oh, I would too. You know who would love this? The the root beer from A and W. Ever. Oh yeah. This might be better than A and W root beer. No, A and W is better. I don't know. Not as good it's as, good. It's not as good as Frosty. I'm giving this a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. You going thumbs up? I'm going thumbs up also. I think I'm gonna give this a solid nine. Okay. I really like this. I'll give it an 8.5. Because there are a couple of root beers I do prefer over this. Or sarsaparilla, if you will. I'm sure you will. Um, yeah, 8.5 for me. Did you say that it was caffeine-free? It is caffeine-free, yes. That's a bit of a bummer. Well, all root beers caffeine-free. Is it? Yes, it is. You didn't know that? No. Yeah, if you look at it, all, they're all caffeine-free. Now you know. It's part of their DNA, I believe. No caffeine. That's how, when, they, when they're tested for... When they go on, uh, you know, Maury to prove if they are the father, it's in their DNA. They're like, you are no caffeine. Our Kansas City sarsaparilla took a took a DNA ter test. Turns out 100% sarsaparilla. I'm sorry to interrupt you. That's okay. You know I do that. I know you do do that.